Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins. Love bringing these videos to you. And right now, the market's just not sure where it really wants to go. We had a little bit of a rebound. The market looked like it was at a bottom. It took off. And then tech stocks started reporting. Some good, some bad. It affected the market adversely. Jobs, a lot of things going on. So how do you find stocks to get into? Well, how about following the sector? See, the sector is where people, all the money is going. Those sectors that are rising uh, is where people are investing. So I'm going to show you a way to follow the sector. And I'm going to give you five stocks to take a look at. If you're interested, you sit right there. <music> Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here on our YouTube channel. Love bringing these videos to your attention. And guess what? I'm back at work. I love being back at work. And right now we're hot and heavy on trying to help you to make money in the market. See, we do the work, you reap the rewards. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the only way we're gonna grow our channel and let people know what we're doing here over at Vector Best. If you like the content that you're about to see, don't forget to hit the like button. That's what it's all about. It's all about us educating you and helping you put high probability of you making money no matter what the market's conditions are. And of course, hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted to when new videos like this come out. Now, the market's been just doing its own thing and let's let's get right into it. Let's get into the software. And from the VectorVest software from the homepage, there's a lot of yellow going on. Our guidance says caution is advised when buying stocks at this time. So we're on top of what needs to happen for you uh, to stay on the right side of the market. We time the market, we don't predict where the market is going to go, but we keep our subscribers on the right side of the market at all times. Well, what really is the right side of the market right now? Everyone out there is probably asking, asking that question. So I'm going to go to our market timing graph. This is the market. And I look at this and I see the market fell. Looks like it found the bottom. We have indicators that tells us when the market is looking for a bottom. We got a nice little explosion off of here. We now sitting at a level on our market timing graph of $63.51. That is looking at what we call the VVC or Vector Vest Composite. And currently we're sitting in a little bit of a channel right now. How does anyone make money when the market does this and right now pulling back again. How do you make money in that? That's a great question. So how about following the sector? The sector is a subset of the market. So if you look at the market as the 30,000 foot view, you get down into the sector. We've got 41 sectors that we track and you get down into the industries. We've got over 200 industries that we track. And then from there, you get into the individual stocks. So that's how the market is layered. But the market as a whole will start dumping money into an individual sector. How do I find those sectors? Now, let's go to our viewers tab. From our viewers tab, we're going to have something called our sector viewer. Now, the sector viewer tracks 41 sectors all together. Here's all of them. Starting with petroleum, everybody knows petroleum is rock and rolling. Banks are number two, and these are sorted by our indicator relative timing, or RT. So the fastest moving sectors are already put at your fingertips at any given time. Now, that's half the story. The other half of the story is to see well, what's been moving over a specific time period. Let's go back to the graphs. And I'm going to say that when the market fell down through this level of current resistance of 65.31, bounced, couldn't get past that level of resistance and pull back, this is the market what's moving during this time. And that started on January 20th of 2022. Watch this going to go back to the viewers tab. I'm going to take this list of the top sectors back to the date of 120 of 2022. Look how easy I can do that. So this is what it looked like on the day that big candle back into the channel that we're in right now. Petroleum bank, a lot of the same sectors were in the same positions. Now watch this. I'm going to do a quick test of all of these sectors from that date. As I do that, all 41 sectors, only three winning sectors 
That's where the money is going. How do I denote those three? Let's sort this by percentage price change. What are the top three moving sectors in that market sitting in that channel right now? Petroleum, steel, and insurance. How quickly was I now able to discern where the money is going in the market? So this is where I'm going to pull my stocks for following the sectors right now. So I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to stay on the viewers tab, going to go to the watch list viewer. I've already comprised five stocks for you to take a look at. Sector busting plays. I like that name, sector busting plays. So I went through the top three sectors that were moving up while the market was going down, up, and back down again. And that's where this all comes in. So I'm looking at the time that I do this video right now, all of the stocks that I'm looking at are moving up today. Well, you know something? How is that? Because I put a high probability on my side that these stocks should be moving because these sectors are the only three sectors making money in the current market's conditions. So all of them are up. Let's do this. Let's highlight them all and let's go take a look at them. We're going to view the stock graph and I'm going to put these on a one year graph. I want to get a good feel. So I'm looking at a longer term view of these stocks, looking at a 20 day exponential moving average. And look at this from an insurance standpoint. Remember, insurance was one of them. Bottom left, top right. Right now, Prudential is really close to its most recent high, currently above the 20 day exponential moving average. Look at that earnings per share higher than it was a year ago and starting to rise back up again. Trading at 117, if I'm going to think about getting into it, I'd like to take out that most recent high. Stock's got great upside potential with relative values sitting at the value of uh, 1.37. This stock should outperform a AAA corporate bond by 37% over the next one to three years. Let's go to the next one. This one is in petroleum. I've got two stocks in here for you from petroleum. Murphy Oil, bottom left, top right. I can draw a freehand line connecting these lows. Even over the last year with the pullbacks in the stock, the stock is definitely in an uptrend. Let me show you that line. Look at that. You gotta love that. And even on the pullbacks, again, the stock is in an uptrend, back and forth above and below the 20-day expansion moving average. A good opportunity to get out of the stock is when it falls below. But not only is this stock above the 20-day exponential moving average, it pulled above a level of resistance, hitting a new high today, a little bit of a pullback. How do I know when it's time to get into this stock? Wait until the stock takes out that high. Look at the earnings per share. Volume is above average volume. So volume is conviction. I like the play. Let's go to the next one. This is another petroleum stock, Vermilion. Look at that earnings per share. Look at that bottom left, top right. Recently, petroleum is running. This stock is nicely above the 20-day. How about this pullback right here? Never close on an end-of-day basis below the 20-day exponential moving average. Look at that stock. A little bit of give back today, a big wick at the top of the candle. Uh, just keep your eyes on that. I'd like to look at taking out that high before I jump on board. What else do we have? Insurance, WRB. Now, this stock had a little bit more of a pullback than the other ones that we've looked at thus far. Did find a level of support, nicely moving up after it uh, gathered at that level of support, moving up, new high today, clearly above the 20 day, recently went above a level of resistance. Look at that volume, look at that earnings per share. Keep in mind, earnings is the engine that drives a stock's price higher. Trading at 89.20, I'd like to see it take out that high before I jump on board. Uh, another steel or a steel company, TS, a lot more volatile. Now, when you look at a graph, and if you don't like the way the graph looks from a volatility standpoint, bypass it. You can find another stock within this sector to jump on board with. I like it. Bottom left, top right, a lot more volatility, but clearly hitting a new high over the last year above the 20 day exponential moving average. Volume is good. Earnings per share is really good. Stair step effect on earnings per share. And folks, those are my stocks. Now, I'm going to help you out on another side as well. Let's say that you're going to want to play the market to the downside because the market overall looks like it's moving down still overall. Let's do this. Let's go back to the sector viewer. And I'm going to put this as of now. I'm going to show this as of right now. 
How about those of you who want to play the market to the downside, either shorting stocks or buying puts or something along those lines or want to play a bullish, uh, a bearish play? Sort this list by RT and now I can find the worst sectors to be in with drug at the top followed by internet, software, energy. And this is as of today. And I can, now, yeah, they're moving up today, but look at where their RT rankings out of 41 sectors. These are bad sectors. Look at these RTs. These sectors are getting beaten up. I can go through, right click on drug. I can view the stocks in the business sector and I can go through the process of finding the worst stocks in there by graphing them and just looking at their graphs over the last year and find the ones that are going down the most. Now, ABBV, look at that. It's moving up. It's in a sector that's moving down, but this is a leader within the sector. Could you play that? Absolutely. But I'm not feeling the volume. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not feeling the earnings per share. Here's REGM. How about Pfizer? Still getting beaten up a, below the 20-day. Uh, so you can use this whether you want to be bullish or you want to be bearish. And if you want to be bearish and find stocks to short or stocks to play bearish options on, you can use it in the opposite direction by finding the worst sectors as well. All right, with that, folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today for this video. This is an easy way to take advantage of, uh, right now, a difficult market, all right? And in order to do that, you want to put your money where everybody else is putting their money to drive uh, your, your portfolio higher. And this is an easy way to do it. Uh, again, if you don't have the VectorVest system and you would like to have access to it, 99 cents gets you access for 30 days and you can do this sector analysis whenever. When the market is bullish, when the market is bearish, when the market is unsure of what it wants to do, this is a great way to stay ahead of what's going on. All right, www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. 30 days, 99 cents. Folks, it's been my pleasure. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button, especially if you found this useful. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya.